Good morning. Good morning. We're getting in the groove. <laughs> Welcome to Good Vibes. <laughs> yes, I am Lisa Hop, the hippie chick. The hippie chick. And, I, and I'm Lori Porter, the chippy hick. Yes. <laughs> She planned that. She wanted to say that. So. I did. Well, I'm, I'm a rhymer, and, and she's the hippie chick, so yes, we're in the Ozarks, so yeah, I we thought are. I'd be the chippy hick. I like it. I like it a lot. Welcome to 2020, the yes. first Thursday of a new, new year. Decade. Decade. Yeah. New decade. All three things happened at the same time or something. New year, new decade. There's one more. I forget what it is. New start? New start. <laughs> Let's challenges new show yes new, new show. show good vibes thank you so much for agreeing to do the show on our cna tv absolutely i am glad to do it we so. are five hours as of this morning yes from hitting our four thousand hours, hours viewed mm -hmm. on cna tv and folks right. when that happens you're gonna see a whole new kind of crazy <laughs> going on with CNA TV. Yes. Anyway, tell them about the show, Lisa. Well, we're going to ha have um, different guests. Yeah. You know, I get to be first. Lori's first because there's, she's so special You know, to there's us. a few things I get. <laughs> a few privileges. A few privileges. <laughs> yes. And uh, my whole goal is to bring things to you that will enrich your life and enhance your life and bring self-care to yourself because as caregivers, you're always taking care of everyone else. And I want you to take care of yourselves too. So we're gonna find ways you can do that in your everyday life. And maybe along the way, you'll get a little healthier, a little happier. I could certainly use all of those things. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So that's the purpose of the show. I would also really like to go out and highlight some of our member facilities. Oh, that would be great. Wouldn't that be fun to go yes. meet some of our get, members? Get some and, real vibes. Yes. And and so if you are one of those facilities and you are interested in having me come out, you let me know. You comment here. You get with me on Facebook. You call the office and we will make that happen. That is a pretty great idea that you just had, uh, not only with yourself, but all of our broad, all of our yes, TV talent, talent should be um, on a speaker circuit. That'd be fun. For our it? nursing homes, because I know you would have a great time with the staff. The gentleman poet would have a great oh, time, yeah. not only with the staff, but the residents, I understand. I, uh, they would love They him. love the storytelling. So anyway. That's a fun thing. Uh, I up. love the title of Good Vibes. We're going to be sending a lot of good vibes, I yeah. think. I appreciate getting to, to be on here, Lisa, because as you well know, and any of our viewers that keep up with the chill spot know that I, uh, Corinne and I hosted it uh, the last uh, few months, and then uh, when I got called away to Michigan, it's just been a hodgepodge of people mm -hmm. filling in. Yes. And of course, Corinne is ill. Yes, bless her. And uh, we continue to send thoughts, prayers, mm -hmm. and good Very vibes. good vibes. Everybody sent her all the good Corinne vibes Corinne needs all the good vibes we can mm -hmm. give her and send her, so please help. Mm -hmm. The Chill Spot has come to a conclusion for 2019. Right, and you know, when Corinne is feeling better, if she wants to come back and do that, then we'll re I'll revisit that. I'll be happy that. to jump on yeah. that show with her and, mm -hmm. and get that kicked off again. But uh, I, I like everything good vibes, uh, uh, just the name of the show and everything about mm -hmm. it. I just so. was born in the wrong time, I think. So. I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, maybe for you, I, I think I just, there wasn't a right time. <laughs> I'm not sure when that right time would have been for. Uh, I don't know. I always as nutty as my me. Uh, my mom did not get to go to Woodstock because she was giving birth to me. Oh yes. Well, and, I didn't and, get to uh, go to Woodstock because I wasn't old enough. Well, yeah, that you, when you was would Woodstock in '69. So you weren't very old. Yeah. No. But um, I would have loved to be able to do seven. something like seven. that. Seven. Yeah. Boy, I had to do the math <laughs> real quick, and that was a tough one. <laughs> 69, 62 from yes. 69. Took me a few minutes to figure that That's one out. That's okay. That's okay. But I, yeah, I was born the day they took, the astronauts took off for the moon. Wow. Yes. And I came home the day they landed on the moon. That's what's wrong with you. Well, I, I'm definitely a moon child. You are indeed. <laughs> That's where the vibes come from. That's where from. the vibes come from. Well, I, you, you're always just a ray of sunshine. Oh, that's You've been nice on to me hear. for months now about. Positivity. Positivity. And that's part of the reason we started the positive change. 
challenge challenge that's oh. going to run through conference. So our first month, which was in December, we did positive thinking and how to catch yourself when you are putting negativity in instead of positivity and, and turn that around and to help each other do that. Because sometimes it's hard to see that in yourself, especially if you're frustrated over something. You have or... to make a conscientious effort mm -hmm. to expose yourself to positive. Absolutely. There, it, it's not going to come out and grab you. No, that's true. And that's unfortunate because the negative has us by the tail constantly. Mm -hmm. Especially in this digital age with immediate social media. Well, and you just know. in our business. We true. deal with so much death and so much deterioration as well as mm -hmm. a lot of successes. But this uh, profession can kick your... Yeah, you have, end. And, uh, and emotionally as well as physically. And sometimes mm -hmm. that takes a more toll, obviously, Absolutely. on your on your um, body. Sure, uh, it manifests does. other ways. Yes. Absolutely, yes, exactly. So I, I hope you all did that with us. Did you try, Lori? I did. I spent. Um, when did the challenge start? It started the first part of December. The first mm -hmm. part of December. So. Um, the month of December, uh, of course, busy for everyone, mm -hmm. but I did take time to try to refocus. Good. Um, I did a lot of, th uh, deep thought, um, tried to teach myself to meditate. That's great. I have ADD, so mm. it makes it a challenge to I do bet. that, but, uh, I might have to go backwards a little bit and get me another one of those Wii Fit because not for the exercise, but for the meditation piece. I don't know mm -hmm. if you ever... I Saw still have one. Uh, you do? <laughs> I do. Well, you know, there was a candle that burned on one of them. And you I sat, never saw that. You yeah. sat on the the board. Uh-huh, the exercise board. Yeah, yeah, and you had to completely stare oh. at this candle. You could not move your eyes left or right. And you kept wow. the candle burning by your eyes. So if I you need didn't to pull want my the calendar to go out. out. So, that's what, so that's what I've tried. And certainly reading a lot, a lot of positive uh, passages and messages mm -hmm. and you know I thought uh, a great deal about canceling Facebook <laughs> I think about that sometimes too but in and business, then I that's realized, not really realistic, and yeah. then I realized you know is it worth t to me I utilize Facebook differently than a lot of people I post occasionally Okay. Um, generally posting gets you in trouble true, you Very know, true. we can't have an opinion anymore um, and you know, no one really needs to know our opinion anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I kind of said America will never be great again as long as there's Facebook. <laughs> but uh, and once you scroll through people's pimples and what they had for dinner <laughs> and the poison ivy the they got yeah. and, <laughs> and all that nasty, icky stuff, to finally come across something of of beauty and wonder yeah. and that's why I can't let it go is because it just keeps me in communication with so many people I couldn't see otherwise uh, I can show you how to stay friends with people but limit what you see from well them. yeah but I don't I don't want to censor people it's just my burden to have to <laughs> okay scroll through okay, there so fair enough. But anyway that's what I have those are the couple of things I've done and that's great I woke up this morning uh, actually feeling uh, Ten times better than I had been for months. Wow, that's wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Even though it was an early day, you felt yeah, good. Yeah, 4 a.m. I was early up and riser. ready to roll. And she yeah. was sending out messages. Well, of course. For work. And so, yeah, I was I was getting them by about six. I, got I guess it. probably people that might tune in don't even know who the heck I am. This is Lori Porter. She is the co-founder of NACA. And, and I, the CEO. I get the privilege of being <laughs> the chief operating officer and... Um, being able to head this organization for CNAs has uh, been a humbling experience, been a loving experience, and been one tough time. Mm -hmm. But it's been your life's mission. It, it really is. I can't think of, you know, I was thinking, good vibes, by the way, I was thinking the other day, maybe I ought to just open a marijuana shop. Well... You know, how many, how much better vibes can you get than that, baby? You'd have to hire workers because I don't think you'd get anything better. <laughs> I'd be the sampler. That would be mine. I'd be the product sampler. Product test. Yes. And then you'd have to give your recommendations. Yeah. Yeah. See, mm -hmm. so I didn't make it to Woodstock either. They got to have all the time back then. 
Anyways. <laughs> so, well, we have wrapped up that positive thinking challenge, but we did that first oh. because I want you to continue that. There's more I got to do? There's a different one each I'm month. I'm not finished? No, that's a different one. Oh, my it's, goodness. It's different one each month. So that will continue. And I wanted to do that one first because I feel like once you, once you get over that hump and, and learn to rethink things in a more positive way, it makes all these other things easier. Mm-hmm. So that's why Absolutely. we did that first. So our next challenge for January, I, I decided with these because I thought this was a pretty common New Year's resolution, mm -hmm. is we're going to work on exercise and drinking enough water. Ooh. I'll do the exercise. I might have to set that water challenge. Well, the yeah. water is going to, the next show we do, which will be on, what day is it, Gary? We do the next show. Doesn't next Monday, whatever water it is. Water course through these veins. <laughs> Three years. I, I'm always fighting Lexi on that too. Coffee but. And, and Coke Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Our we're gonna, liquidators. Uh, on that show, we're going to talk about different ways you can get your water instead of just drinking water. So maybe it'll make it a little more uh -huh. exciting for you. Jack Daniels, does that count? That's not on my list. But I did hear that Weight Watchers years ago. I heard that Weight Watchers said that if you drink decaffeinated tea, uh -huh. that it is the same as water. But as long as it's decaffeinated. Yes, but it really should be naturally decaffeinated, as opposed to what like some of the big companies might do. You can find naturally decaffeinated tea or very low caffeine well, we tea. We can't probably afford that. You can. It's you just have to I look at that. the box. But they they. Make they decaffeinate regular tea with arsenic. Oh, rat poison. And I, I realize that rat it's such a low level that's that it's not going to kill you. <laughs> that's what's However, in, um, oh, what's that blood thinner? Uh, my mom used to take it and she always called it rat poisoning. Oh my gosh, well, it probably was because that's what it, if you don't know, that's what rat poison does. It thins your blood and you bleed out if yeah. you take it. Yes, yeah. so. It is well, that makes basically, sense then, huh? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was right. She was right. Mama I always was thought right. she was just nuts. <laughs> Mama knew what she was talking she about. Did. <laughs> Even when she asked you every day if your bowels had moved. <laughs> hey, that's an important thing. Oh, Maybe we sorry. should add that to our challenge. <laughs> yes. Have your bowels moved today? <laughs> You're doing that at work, asking everybody, right? So why don't you just go ahead? My mom would have. <laughs> I'm sure when she was a dietary manager. If she had a cook that was out, she probably did ask them, have yeah. your bowels moved? It, it, your bowels are very important. Why your intestines ever, are very why important. Why they have to call it something like bowels? I know. I know. It's just not right. That's bowels. Not, we could come up with a new name for it. Have you defecated? <laughs> that sounds better than have, have your bowels. Have you, have you, have you gone poo-poo? <laughs> <laughs> Number two. <laughs> Number two. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about exercise. <laughs> Maybe that'll stimulate you. Does yoga count as exercise? It does. Why? Oh, yoga is actually, if you do it properly, it's very, a very good exercise. My son made the mistake when he was a freshman at Arizona State University <laughs> and taking that as an elective <laughs> class. He thought he'd get to see the girls in the tight gym wear, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he found out real quick that it was actually work. <laughs> He's so busy, he didn't have time to look up your leotard. Huh? <laughs> but he actually learned to enjoy it. Well, I, I downloaded a yoga program Yay. also, but you know I'm old and out of shape. You know, I don't think you're ever too old or out of shape to make small changes. And I've tried to write some ways down that I'm going to share with you that you can integrate into your everyday life while you're driving the kids to school or you're driving to work or you're washing that, the dishes. Or, is that that Kegel thing? Well, that could be one of them. That wasn't what I was going to say, but your husband would thank you. Yeah, so just <laughs> or, you know, do your Kegel exercises when you're you, in the car. Sorry, fellas, if you don't know what the Kegel <laughs> is. Encourage the women in your life to do Have your uh, loved one explain it to <laughs> yes. you. Yes. Um, so there are four different categories of exercise. Yeah. So let's talk about those. Okay. okay? So we've got endurance, which would be things like dancing mm, or yard work. I love to dance. Do you? That's dancing and yard work are comparable? Absolutely. Wow. Now you probably get different benefits from different things. With dancing, you're probably getting your heart rate up more. Oh yeah. You go girl. I love the dance. <laughs> that see, that's great. Lexi loves to dance. She gets the just dance out and just goes for hours at a time. I walked up the stairs twice in a row and my legs were burning on fire. So I, I probably you. couldn't make it through a full song. But that's okay. You do that one day and the next day maybe you do make it through that song. Okay. It, little baby steps. Okay, the next one is strength. 
so which we all know, which is weights or resistance, even your body weight, you know, pushing off a wall with your body weight is considered resistance, strength training. Hmm. Um, balance, as we get older, that's a really important one. Um, it deals with your core and the strength in your core. And if you can keep your core strong, you typically studies say you're healthier all the way around into older that age. That We Fit candle does that too because it helps strengthen your core because mm -hmm. you, you just have to sit there. Right. Um, and then the last one, or standing on one foot, that's something you can do easily. Uh, yoga would fall under balance also. Oh. And then flexibility, hmm. which, you know, I, I know I'm not as flexible as I used to be. And mm -hmm. I think as we get older, we, we forget. I remember when, when Lexi was little, she loved for me to hold her. She was very much a mama's girl. And I had said, I'm going to pick her up every day. Every day. Even when she's a teenager and she's home, I'm going to pick her up every day. If I do that every day as she's growing up, how strong will I be? Mm -hmm. And then I got breast cancer and I couldn't pick up anything more than 10 pounds oh, for two years. True, so true. I lost, I never got back to that. But I, boy, I should have because. I think that would have been an easy way to keep myself strong. Yeah, the flexibility is something that bothers me a lot just because, um, you know, I can, no matter how old you get, I guess, anyway, for me, I still can see myself running up and down the basketball court, shooting hoops, being able to get in about every position known to man to try to steal the ball or save the ball. Yeah. And um, the other day, I don't remember, I was wrestling with the dog or trying to love on the dog and... I don't know. I just thought, I am just not flexible enough. You know, I have to do a high kick to get out of the bed. Kind yeah. of a rocker. Get a motion going. <laughs> the get out of the bed. Yeah. So, uh, you know, when that That's trans the core strength. Th yeah. Th yeah. Th when that transpired, I thought, okay, so we got to get on the ball. Work here. on but, the core strength. You know, I, I got to thinking this might be a way since I, this is probably the only time I'll get to be on your show until, you know, a little later in the year. Yeah. So maybe we'll see where I'm at the next time I get to come yeah, on. Yeah, that'd be awesome. See if I so, got any weight down, stress off. Oh, so good things for flexibility. Stretching. We didn't talk about that. Stretch. Stretch. That's one thing as CNAs especially you should do. That's going to keep you from injuries. That's going to help you in other ways. Yoga is great for that also. And my favorite is actually Pilates. It's a combination of yoga and some something else, <laughs> I don't mm -hmm. know what, but it, it adds another component in there. And I find it works very quickly for me. If I would do it every day for even five or 10 minutes, I see a huge difference. And one of their core principles is, and this is kind of hard to imagine if you've never done it, but pulling, sucking your belly button up against your spine. Imagine sucking your belly button into your spine. I will do that when I'm driving the car. You will be amazed at how much strength you build through you your core. While you that, you gotta though. breathe out up here. You gotta breathe high instead of through your diaphragm. But the more you can do that, the stronger you will be. And just doing that in the car. I mean that doesn't make you sweaty, it doesn't make you hot, it doesn't you know, that's something you can do while you're riding in your car. And it will make a huge difference. And then if you're at home and you really wanna push do a plank. That is like the greatest all over exercise. I will put up a video or a picture of what a plank is underneath here. And, but it's basically you're on your arm. It's like a push up, but you're on your elbows, oh. on your forearms. Forearm. And you have to be perfectly flat on your toes and on your forearms. And you hold that as long as you can. That, and how do you get there to begin with? Well, you, just been, like you would a push-up. You get down like you're going to do a push-up. <laughs> I thought, you know, I had done cartwheels my whole life. Wow. Hadn't done one in 30 years and attempted that a while back. I broke both my wrists. Oh, no. <laughs> but we're, we're, not, we're going to try not to break Don't anything in this challenge. Don't do a cartwheel right off the bat. Yeah. yeah. Start little and then work your well, way you up. you know, um, stretching is important. But I think when we hear these things, and I always try to be on the lookout for our members and anticipate what their questions might be when we do this type, kind of thing. And I think they're going to go, where do I find the time? So, because we think of it as overwhelming, and that's one of the things I drilled down is... That's a good point. A tidbit. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes when I'm, I got, you know, I used, I, I still have one, but I used to have a really bad double chin. Mm -hmm. So I got to thinking with all the time I spend in the car. Exercises. Is this exercise? It know, is. Absolutely. I, You're working the muscles in your face. 
So just drive. I know people passing me thought I was. Insane, I think you're having but, a seizure or yeah. something, but but yeah. I just I ne- I just came no, up with it on my great. own. I that's never great. read it anything, but I don't you know. But yeah. there's always movement. When you're they say at somebody the stove, that just has a tick, and I like do. Their um, yeah, we're always constantly <laughs> moving or something mm-hmm. that they're burning more calories yeah, as well. I, but stretching isn't something you got to do for 30 minutes before no, you, you get can to even, work. I I will even in the morning when I get up. When I go into my closet, I'll put my hands up on the door frame and just lean into it, you know, mm-hmm. and it stretches my arms and the my back. The first thing and our dog does when he gets up in the morning is My stretch. kitties, the first thing they do. Stretch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we know stretching feels good. Absolutely. So Do it if it feels good. That's what we say at Good Vibes. Absolutely. So thank you for That's spending. That's from the Chippy Hick. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for spending a few minutes with me on our first show. You bet. You bet. I appreciate you. Yeah. Did we cover what you I wanted to cover? I think we covered cover everything. And... I just want everybody to make that, make that effort to exercise just a little bit every day and drink 64 ounces of water. We're going to talk more about that on the next show. But Should we sweeten the get... pot somehow? Well, what do you got with in With the challenge here? I don't know. I've I'll thought think, about prizes I'll or think contest, about but I don't know how we would. Yeah, right. let's think about that. Maybe we can we'll come up announce that something. on the next show. We'll come up with something, and you guys can announce it later on down the road. So yeah. stay tuned. Yeah. And congrats on your first show. Thank you for having me on. Thank you for being here and wearing my hippie beads. Your oh yeah, mm-hmm. the peas. Uh, remember, NACA members do it with passion. Yes. Sorry yes. for wearing this old T-shirt. I didn't know I was going to be on today. And she actually had a beautiful tie-dye shirt on, and it like was yeah, sparkled, it, so it didn't my work. My tie-dye didn't go over too no. well because of the green. So she had to change. Plus, but... I just looked like another flower on the set. She looked like like the Cheshire cat dissolving <laughs> into <know>. space. <laughs> Anyway, so. shout out to my Michigan peeps. I'll be back up there before long uh, and um, keep those fires burning there. If you all want to uh, find us, Lisa's my agent, actually. She handles all my stuff. And so if you ever want me, contact her. Yeah, I know how to get her places. So I'm glad to do that. <laughs> so Thank until you. we see you next time, peace, peace out. Peace out. <laughs> For you, how does that go?